Ukraine is getting pretty good at hitting targets deep within Russia's sovereign territory. The tactic could mark a new stage in the almost two-year-old war and certainly calls into question the quality of Russian air defense systems. In the past few days, it's believed Ukraine used long-range drones to hit oil refineries and weapons manufacturing plants in several different Russian cities including the Novatech fuel terminal at the Ust Luga port in Leningrad, which is around 500 miles or so from the front lines in Ukraine. It isn't clear what type of drone Ukraine is using for the attacks, but this could be the work of the domestically produced Maroc, which we've reported on before. On Sunday, Russian state media reported two drones were spotted heading towards St. Petersburg, but then swerved towards the port. The terminal processes both fuel used by Russia's military and fuel destined for foreign markets. Novatech said it was taking the facility offline for the foreseeable future, with no word on when it could be restored to operational status. Ukrainian media reported the country's security service was behind the attacks, which is not only a blow to Russia's armed forces, but its economy as well. The strike on the port in Leningrad was at least the second major attack against Russian fuel supplies in the last week. Another drone attack at an oil storage depot in Bryansk on Friday caused a fire that covered an area of more than 10,000 square feet and destroyed at least four massive oil tanks. The strategy here for Ukraine is pretty clear. Russia can't fill up its vehicles if there isn't any fuel, and Russia can't use the money from those fuel sales to buy new weapons from Iran and North Korea, allegedly, if there isn't any fuel to sell. Refineries and storage depots aren't the only targets Ukraine is hitting inside Russia, though. It is also targeting more of Russia's weapons manufacturing facilities. The Shiglovsky Val plant in Tula was also hit on Sunday in a staggered series of strikes from Ukrainian drones. Full damage assessments are still in the works, but the strikes could be significant. The plant manufactures anti-tank missiles and the Pantsir S anti-aircraft defense system. Pantsirs play a prominent role in Russia's air defense capabilities, so depending on how damaged the facility in Tula is, Russia's ability to counter the new onslaught of deep strike drones could be severely limited. And limited may be a good way to describe some of the other weapon systems Russia is rushing to the front lines. This video also emerged online over the weekend of a Tor air defense system getting destroyed. Russia touts the Tor as being one of the best ways to counter enemy drones, so it's no doubt a blow to Russian military pride that not only did the Tor's missile miss its target, a small FPV drone, but the drone was able to destroy the Tor system. Taking out Russian air defenses was always a part of Ukraine's battle plans, but perhaps the increased focus on those systems and their manufacturing facilities is a way for Ukraine to set the stage for the arrival of the first F-16s donated by the West. Ukraine has several groups of pilots and ground crews in various stages of training, but the first Ukrainian F-16 pilots are expected to take to the skies sometime this spring or early summer.